Uh, yes. I made a terrible mistake in a uh, previous video where I had expressed why I felt Dead Island 2 was better than Dying Light 2. It was an honest mistake, but it was a mistake nevertheless. So in that video, I had talked about how even, even in the end game, the zombies are still a threat to the player. And in Dying Light 2, by the time you're done consuming all the inhibitors that the game demands you to take, in order to do the most basic side quest, Even when you take all those inhibitors... Uh, you become a god tier player... When the game... When the game's done, right? Like, there's nothing that can kill you. There's nothing that can kill you in Dying Light. Well, it could kill you, but it would have to try super duper hard because in Dying Light 2, like, you are you're like a god mode sort of player, right? Because you have to take inhibitors in order to complete certain tasks. Like, if you go to Windmill, and you look at the windmill, it'll be like, oh, well, you need to have a, a level 300 stamina or 200 health or something like that to do a windmill. So you have to scour, like you have to scour every nooks and crannies looking for uh, inhibitors to do that. And as a byproduct, you're leveling up. You're becoming more and more powerful in order to complete those tasks. In Dead Island 2, when you're playing the game, there sure they, there's some level differences as, as you're playing the game. Like you could find yourself in a pickle because all the, le the all the zombies are like you know one level higher than you, and maybe your your gears like at the very least it's just at your level, right? And it's it's kind of a struggle. It's not impossible, but it's a struggle. You could do side content to uh, make that experience a little easier on yourself, right? But there's never this sense that you have to take inhibitors, you have to do this and do that to become more and more OP in order to complete tasks. And as a side product, you become this god tier player that can kill everything and you can't undo it you can't you can't really undo it right so as opposed to like the slayers in, in dead island 2 you can play your way you can be the slayer you want to be that could be a good thing or a bad thing you have the freedom to be as OP which was my mistake. I, I said that the zombies are still a threat in the end game. If you're someone who has made it your mission to be OP, the game gives you the freedom to be OP. Kind of like how in Dead Island 1, you had this one punch kill thing where you could just go around one punch killing everything. It felt more, it was a novelty, like a, a, like a tacked on thing in the game and you could partake in it. In all the in in all the years and all the hours I spent playing Dead Island, I never actually played in one punch mode because that's not the Dead Island experience I wanted. So in Dead Island 2, I played my way. I partook in the side quests, which I enjoy all of them. Uh, if I actually achieved something in the challenge, the challenge tiers, then I achieved it, but I wasn't looking to achieve it. Uh, 
And by the end of it, I felt like when I finished the game, I, it was an actual victory. It wasn't something where I just, just rolled up with my, you know, legendary gear and I'm just one tap killing everything and I'll be like, ha ha, success. Uh, because of the way I was playing, I had the freedom to do that. Dying Light doesn't give you the freedom to play that way unless you start all over again and you only take the inhibitors you want to take to give you the health and stamina abilities uh, or you, you max out your health and stamina the way you want it to be and you limit the, uh, the nighttime resistance to what you want it to be but even if you were to play that way, you would still be locked out of side content. That would say, no, you can't unlock the side mill because of this windmill because you have not taken enough inhibitors. See, the game is always pushing you to toward that OP thing. Right. It's always pushing you toward it. Right. And in Dead Island 2 that is not the way the game is played the game is played your way if you want to go out there and you want to find every legendary weapon there ever is and then you want to duplicate it and put it away in your storage so all your slayers can have that weapon it's five legendary pistols five legendary so whatever legend i don't know what legendary weapons are out there i don't pay attention to that uh it, and you want to um you want to do all the challenges that and all this, all every single side content before the end game, and they just go around one hitting everything. The, obviously, the game gives you the power to do that, the ability to do that, and that's fantastic. I am so happy the game allows you to be OP if that's the build you really want. But I am also grateful that the game allows me, me, personally, to also be not OP. I don't want to be OP. I want my challenges. I want to feel overwhelmed. I want to feel like when I have killed some, like when I'm in a pickle and I have overcome that, that danger, that I've accomplished something. And I did it through sheer grit and skill. The game allows me to be the slayer I want to be. Dying Light 2 just, just wants you to be a Superman slash Spider-Man at the end of it. That That's the way it's designed. And it, it wants you to spend a long, long time in the game um, sort of getting there. Because <laughs> the way they, they stretch out the progression, right? Like, oh, you can't unlock this windmill. You still need... 300 stamina points. Oh, you can't you can't unlock this um, this uh, electrical uh, this substation because um, you don't have 400 points in your your stamina or agility. You, you go get you some more zombie meth and come back later. It this game doesn't do that to you. So I I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, in the uh, why Dead Island 2 is better than Dying Light 2 video when I said, you know, even in the end game, you know, the zombies are still a threat. That was wrong because some people can go out there and they can find a way to be OP and they can enjoy the game that way. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. I am super cool with that. I think that's really cool. You can find ways to be OP in the game, you know, uh, doing doing the, all the challenges. I, I think from what I understand, uh, finding all the legendary weapons, which I obviously I haven't because I mean, my my Bruno is uh, level 25 and <laughs> these uh, these are the weapons I'm working with. And uh, as you can see, I, I did get clobbered back there and that's OK. Because uh, I was I was trying to make a video, right? So, you know, I'm trying to talk and I'm also getting my butt handed to me at the same time. Uh, but that's that's the level of challenge I'm looking for, right? I, I, uh, I want that. I, I really do. I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I don't mind being being challenged, right? I, I, 
I love the fact that Dead Island 2 allows me to slay my way. And it allows you to slay your way. You. Cheers to you, OP players out there who have found your way to OP your way through the game and you're loving it. And cheers to me. Because I accidentally, I accidentally got to play the game my way by just playing the game and not really paying attention to the challenges and doing side quests as I saw fit. And and uh, I managed to get through the game without any, like any legendary weapons and I still had a great time with it. And I still enjoy it that way. So yes, I was wrong. And I wanted to do an update video about the fact that I, I didn't quite know about the OP stuff because by the time I got to the end of the game, I had not realized that the game was pushing me toward that because the, the, this game does not push you toward OP. If you have enough skill and grit, you can get your way through this game any way you like. And that is a testament to how mwah, great this game is. It thinks about everything. It thinks about the OP players, and it thinks about the players who want to be challenged. And that is one more reason why Dead Island 2 gets my badass seal of approval. Okay. Maybe some of you were watching this video because you thought I was, this was me apologizing for my Angry Joe video. No, I don't apologize. When Angry Joe told you that he was insinuating that solo gameplay is even worse than co-op is absolutely ridiculous. I have beaten this game two times in solo, once in co-op, and the experience is not hard. It's only as hard as you make it. And I play this game super hard. I don't play with legendary weapons. I don't play as an OP player. I play this, this game. I hinder myself. Not even on purpose. And I can still... I can still beat this game. And not suffer at all. This game is perfectly well balanced for solo or co-op. Or co Angry Joe is still wrong. There is no proof that he's right. This game is not balanced for co-op only and he even implied three-player co-op which is a testament to how freaking lazy he is okay yeah my channel is proof he's wrong this game is perfectly balanced for solo and I think he should take that review down and do a new one where he acknowledges the fact that this game is not is not a terrible experience for solo players not at all. It's absolute. It's a fantastic zombie romp. He's wrong. So no, that's not what I'm apologizing about. I'm apologizing. I'm apologizing for what I'm actually wrong about. You can be OP in this game if you want to be. And that is super cool. That I did not know that. I honestly did not know you could be super OP in this game because of the way I played it. And that's fantastic because I got the experience I want out of it and OP players get the experience they want out of it and that makes this game even better still. So I am sorry. And I am, I've never been happier to say I'm sorry because that just shows how diverse this gameplay, the, 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 the gameplay of this, of this experience can be. That's awesome. That's fantastic news. So yes, once again, I am sorry, my darlings. You all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. And I will catch you on the flip side. Y'all y'all be safe out there in Hele, okay? Alright? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> y'all have a good one.